uh, Elvira's books uh, fascinate me because you know they continue a certain tradition of literature. I mean, when I was young, like Santosh, also I am sure, and uh, Sadbir, and yes. many of you, <laughs> we uh, grew up on. Uh, Enid Blyton and a diet of Enid Blyton and uh, Naughty, uh, which is by Enid Blyton, and you know other books like that. I mean, in my case, there was Enid Blyton, of course, Saint Clair's, Six Bad Boys. Five Find Outers and Dog, you know, and then Famous Five, Adventurous Four, <laughs> Secret Seven, uh, you know, all the whole works of all those books. Thinking about them gives us nostalgia. And then, you know, later, of course, we uh, we had, I don't know if you people remember, but there was Billy Bunter and Jennings. I don't know if you read them. There was Paddington. There was. Uh, uh, William, William, I am sure that Santosh must have read all the William books. Yeah. And you know, it's very uh, nice to see uh, that uh, kind of writing and tradition kept alive in the works of, uh, you know, uh, writers in India today, especially in the works of, uh, you know, writers Elvira. And you know, I saw quite a few. I saw uh, quite a few uh, writers going into children's literature, and it's so refreshing. Uh, there's a couple of writers who write in uh, literature in that uh, learning and creativity, and Sharmita is there. There's so many writers, but very good. Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah, very good. And you know. Uh, uh, even that uh, fact that Sadhguru has started a prize for children's literature, I mean for fiction of course, but this time we gave it for children's literature because those are the books we got. And Elvira was one of those who was given the prize. And this is uh, really an excellent initiative. And uh, we are happy that I am sure that there are three of us, Gauri and Gauri was trying to get in, but somehow she couldn't make it. She said the link wasn't working. And I don't know about uh, Sunita. But you know, uh, what, what I was saying is that, uh, you know, uh, because I have confidence that, you know, when um, uh, confidence about these books we gave prizes to, that, you know, they not only carry on the tradition, that's a continuity, but there's also a discontinuity you know, that they, just like Santosh was reading, how they mix in, you know, Indian elements, Indian accents, and, you know, Indian uh, surroundings and nature, and the settings, the geography, Indian characters come in. So it's not just Western. It's also Indian. It's also specific to Elvira's own background. And, you know, it's at the same time, it's uh, in a way didactic. It teaches children how to live. And, you know, it keeps innocence alive. So for all these things, I think these uh, books are very important. And they're also inspiring. And they use folklore in the case of Elvira. Because she brings, you know, a lot of magic and fairy tale stuff. And... Uh, uh, Dr. Koshi, the book has been impeccably edited but, uh, by Dr. Dubey. It, he has done a wonderful uh, job. I was reading it and you know, I am very uh, happy and uh, uh, this combination of, you know, good editing, good writing, good editing and good illustrations. Yeah, excellent. excellent. This is what uh, makes children's literature world classics. So I think we're not too far away from the day when these uh, books will be recognized not only in India but abroad also. And I really wish that luck for Elvira Fernandez. That Thank her you, book sir. will be spoken of highly... I mean, not only among us in India, but abroad also, I mean, because it has that standard. I'm not just saying it's really good. The work is really good. So I am very pleased to be here and to say these few words.